And another group that's often underrepresented in the census is the area's immigrant population. Fear and mistrust of authorities is one reason, but another more common experience is one that affects many areas of their lives. That is, navigating the language barrier. Our Ali Martin introduces us to a Calhoun County woman who's helping bridge the communication gap. The promise of jobs and furniture plants around sweet potato farms attracts immigrants to Vardaman, but there is often a language barrier. Many of the immigrants are from Mexico, and even though they go through the proper channels, they don't speak English. That is where Donna Johnson comes in. And, and to see what is the need, people's needs, and then from, we start from there. Johnson immigrated from Honduras years ago with her husband, who is from Northeast Mississippi. She works with a local ministry to help immigrants who need to communicate with their children's teachers, fill out medical forms or other tasks, such as setting up utility service or taking care of traffic tickets or other legal matters. I have noticed that um, in terms of immigrants in this area is quite a new thing we are, and I'm telling you this but especially in church you know I mean we, we were not prepared for this wave of immigrants while translating and interpreting are important sometimes immigrants and immigrant families need help finding out what services and resources are available Johnson tries to point them in the right direction mothers who has children with disabilities uh, these mothers, I mean, their children are receiving all the service they require, you know, in the school, in the hospitals. But it's hard to find like a support group where these women can share, you know, their day-to-day -day, um, issues. One of the things that we find very useful is how to bring the resources here in place. So, uh, you know, to have some nights of parenting or some women's support group like self-esteem things. And often, Johnson says, the main need for an immigrant is someone with a willingness to listen. In Vardaman, Allie Martin, WCBI News. Johnson says the immigrant population in both Vardaman and Calhoun County has risen dramatically in recent years. And shifting gears, it is now time.